Hi, my name is Moji, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the mindset that I ended up adopting in order to get out of the debilitating aspects of schizophrenia. So even though I use this for uh, coming out of depression and my psychosis, well, not completely coming out, but in order to tackle it, I ended up adopting this mindset. You can really apply this mindset to anything that you are taking part in. So I applied it to my work. I apply it with my mental illness and I apply it with my hobbies that I pursue. So for me, that is music currently, and I never thought I would get back into it, but now I'm back to playing music. So what ended up getting me to this mindset was when I got out of the hospital the second time, I felt like I was helpless. Everything was happening to me and the circumstances for me were so negative that I had nowhere else to go. So I felt like I would never be able to get out of it. And for a while there, I was stuck in this feeling that nothing is going to work out and I'm stuck here. And this is how it is going to be for the rest of my life. It's really scary to be in a position like this where you are experiencing all these things that come with schizophrenia or your mental illness. But the message we want to get across is that with the proper mindset and the resources, you have the ability to come out of this and you have options and that's what we're going to be discussing. So yeah, early on, schizophrenia was really scary and it took me a while and I would say probably around two to three months of really being there alone and getting away from everything and isolating and feeling like I had no way out because the world was happening to me really negatively. So what am I going to do, right? If I have to choose to live, how do I want to live? And what are all the negative things happening to me and what can be done about it. So what's necessary is that based on your circumstances, you are in a place where you feel helpless and you feel like you can't get out of it and the world is happening to you. So how do you get out of that mindset? Uh, with all the things negative happening to us, I feel like we get into a place where we start thinking like we are helpless and we don't have a say in what is going on in our lives because everything that's happening in my life is happening to me outside of me. So all the negative thoughts, voices, mental illness, uh, not really uh, being in a good place, all of that, it is just that the world has created it around me and I can't do anything about it. So really what this mindset then comes down to is yes, all of these negative things are happening to me that are out of my control, but I have a say in what is going to happen next in my life. And I am going to make it better for me. I'm not going to let X, Y, Z happen to me because I am going to take charge and stop it from happening and I'm going to build something that I want to be. My life is going to be something that I am gonna make it to be regardless of all the circumstances happening around me. So for me, this mindset was really necessary in order for me to get better mentally, in order for me to perform at work, and in order for me to pursue things outside of work too. So anything that I want to stop from being something that I don't want it to be and go towards something that I want to be, and how am I going to contribute to that? Am I gonna let all the things that are happening to me all the time stop me from making something of my life that I want my life to be, or am I just gonna sit there? So for me, this mentality of I'm gonna do better and I'm going to stop the negative things from dictating my life really happened when I started looking at anything challenging as an opponent. Uh, so this is all the negativity and all my mental illness is over here and how am I going to tackle that? with what I have and what my abilities are and what else I can do. And for me, I was able to push that negativity to a certain point where I could function. So once I adopted that mindset, that started kind of snowballing into things getting better for me. Once I started actively being part of how I'm going to change my life, doors just started opening for me. So all the resources that I found out about and how they could help me, I couldn't really make use of them unless I was in this mindset where I was going to get better. So really your biggest support is yourself. And you have to be at a certain point to utilize these sources as tools that you as a support person for yourself is going to utilize to pull yourself out of a hole that you find yourself in, or at least that's what I found myself in was a hole and I wanted to get out of it and the resources and everything out there for my mental health 
I had to utilize them in order to get out of that hole. And it wasn't easy. Uh, it took me about four years now in order to get to a place where I can say I'm doing really good mentally. I'm doing really good at work and I'm really pursuing my hobbies again, which I mentioned was music and I'm starting to put that out there as well. You know, like support is really necessary and initially I depended on people that I had in my life in order to get better and they were there to, to root me on and cheer me on, but had I decided to close off to them and not utilize their help, I don't think I would have been able to get out and they would have eventually gotten frustrated and, and been like, okay, I, everybody has to live their own life, right? And I wouldn't blame them. I'm managing my own mental health now. I'm putting quality work now uh, at my job, which is rewarded and I have a great team and I love them. And some of them watch these videos, so shout out. And with this mentality, I, I feel like everything that I try that is challenging I feel like I can excel at if I put in the effort into it. And I, I don't know if that happens through just aging and you get to a point where you realize things or you have to be in a position where you feel helpless and you have to really believe in yourself in order to pull yourself out of things. But that mindset has happened to me somewhere between 28 and 32. And, and I don't know what sparked it, but I feel like it was everything that happened to me that really got me here. Um, but if you are feeling that the world is happening to you and you have no way out, I want you to know that you have a say in it and you can get out of it. So with mental health, there are plenty of resources out there to help you once you get to this place of wanting to help yourself uh, with work as well like I have so much resources at work in order to better myself and I have a great team how am I going to utilize everything to my advantage and get better and get to a place where now I am running a household and I'm there to be able to help people in my life my family I've taken control of my life and starting to make it better and this is initial and there's much to build and but this mindset has really helped so really i would suggest that you make that investment into your own self and have faith in yourself in order to pull yourself out of these holes that you sometimes may find yourself in and you want to get away from things that don't support that way that you want to be or the goals that you have regardless of them being mental health work hobbies any goals that you have you really want to have people and resources that support that. And for me, I have had to get away from things that are gonna not help that. And, and that's fine, like I don't have a huge friend circle, but there are people that are there I know that are gonna support me in my goal to get better. So if you find yourself in a rut, I hope that you can get out of it and get something out of this video that you have the ability to do something for yourself and you may not wanna do it day one, two, three. And in that negative mindset, you may reach a point where you feel like you want to do something about it. And if you do, I want you to know that there, you have the ability to do it and you can get out of it because you are the best advocate for yourself and your mental health and your life going forward. Uh, I look at it like we are playing the same game and everybody has tools and challenges, but it's winnable for all of us and we can all get better and live our lives to the fullest that we want to live them. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you can get to a position to be helping yourself getting better. So thank you for watching. It's really nice to see comments and likes from people. So thank you for people that have subscribed, liked and commented on my videos. I really appreciate it and have a great day.